Well, today is Equal Pay Day, meant to bring awareness to the wage gap between men and women. According to the National Committee on Pay Equity, March 14th marks how far into the year women have to work to earn what men did the previous year. That date is likely to uh, get worse when looking solely at Hispanic and black women who make less than white women when it comes to median annual earnings, compiled from 2021 data. Experts in Cleveland share there are a number of factors that contribute to this pay gap. Weatherhead School of Management Associate Professor Dr. Ellen Van Osten says this day should be a call to action for companies to pay attention to their policies when it comes to compensation and performance management and know who's getting paid what. Organizations um, overall um, need to uh, make it a priority to look at um, how they're attracting um, employees, developing employees, and um, compensating employees. And then experts say there are the societal pressures that women feel to take on the role of caretaker and caregiver, roles which can take them out of the workforce more often than men and cause them to make career sacrifices. Pew Research Center data shows women make 82 cents for every dollar that a man makes in the United States, according to NBC News. So 82 cents on the dollar. Now, mm -hmm. I can't remember where that was, but it seems like we're going at least in the right direction because I have a, a vague recollection of that number being like in the 68 cents on the dollar, not too terribly long ago. So although we've made up some work, that's a bit offensive yes, to and think that, for, and that's for the same job a man does. Right, so a man work would work months. January 1st to December 31st. That would be their annual pay. A woman to make that same annual pay would have to work dis, or January 1st all the way till March 14th <laughs> of the next year Ooh, Wow! in order to make that same thing. So it's, it's the longevity of what it takes to make that same pay. Well, I'm going to let you speak to this because... Yeah. Well, I I'm mean, not qualified to speak on it, quite frankly. <laughs> yes, you are. It's all about speaking up, right? That's yes. the big thing. And I think a lot of women, there's, there's multiple reasons. They're not comfortable negotiating. They're not comfortable going out on a limb and saying, no, I deserve this much more. Oh. Not all women are built that way. And a lot of times that is taken advantage of. So women are paid less. I understand that. And I can, I can see that. Uh, I, I can't see you being that way. I don't know. I, you're very, honestly. I mean, you seem to be very <laughs> assertive and comfortable in your skill set. I seem to be, but at the same time, you know, it, it, for women, uh, you know, a lot of these decisions, you get emotional about things. I have a lot to consider. I, I don't want to, true. I don't want anybody to get upset with me because then they might, you know, view me differently and then they don't give me this opportunity and, and yeah. it becomes this like rat race in your brain instead of just looking at it in facts and figures and saying, no, this is what I deserve to be paid right. for these jobs that I'm doing. Well, hopefully that gap will continue to shrink I, because I, 82 cents on the dot, that's just, that's, that's not fair. Well, more and more women are speaking up. I think the bigger, the bigger issue would be the uh, racial equity and pay. Right. That is a much bigger feat to overcome, and, and that, that needs to be pushed to the forefront. Absolutely.